And I'm going to say happy Monday, Farming Gone Digital, day two. It's actually kind of like day three, really, because Thursday we did customizing your actual neighborhood, which is important that you pick the right neighborhood, right, to do the digital farming, too. Hello, miss. How are you, Stacy? Good. So, Stace, do you know which community you're going to be farming that we're going to use this digital farming to? You're on mute. You're muted. You're muted. There you are. Hi. Yes, I'm going to do Turning Hawk. Okay, great. Do you already have your list downloaded? Well, I tried last week, but I had trouble with it. It wouldn't put it to my cart. So, I don't know. I need help with it. It wouldn't put it to your cart. Okay, so we could take mm -hmm. a quick look and remind and see what happened with that. Um, everything, what does that say? That looks really tiny. Everything is good. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Liliana. That's awesome. Yay. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and we can go into remind, take a quick peek on that. But the most important thing is you want to pick a community that's big enough because we want to get enough phone numbers, right? That's the idea. This is farming. Now, just to remind you, I'm going to share my screen. And we're going to make this large. And not that page, not that large. Let's do this. Remember, there's that app that I like to use and it's called Reach. Did everybody get a chance to download? Now you don't have to use this one. There's other ones. I happen to use this one. It's $4.99 and uh, Reach, it's called SMS app. And it's, it's, four nine, it's, it's 50 bucks for the year. It's super cheap. And they have this auto, um, if you download an extra, um, thing. You can use the auto feature. Um, Lisa, can you share? Did you try it? Lisa! You're still muted. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. Sorry. Yeah. So, so there is a tool that it, it's sort of linked to it. I think it's through the Remind app. I'm, I'm sorry, the Reach app. Mm -hmm. But you go into your settings and you download this other thing. And rather than actually clicking on the phone, to send the emails, or I'm sorry, the texts, it will do it automatically. So it'll do one at a time still so that it comes over as an individual text, but it will do it for you. So you don't have to like physically touch the phone 30 times or 50 times or whatever. Which is great. And if I join, let me do this here from my phone. Well, I'm gonna join the meeting. And I'm going to mute here because otherwise, if I don't mute, uh, okay. no audio. Actually, I will do no audio, but I want to share. Hold on. Let's see if I can share my screen though from here. Let me allow screen sharing. So let me stop share. Allow people to share their screen. Let me see here. Oh, let people come in. And I go here. Security. Allow participants screen share. Okay, there we go. And if I wanted to try to screen share from here, start broadcast. All right, let's see if it'll work. Okay, you guys can now see my screen, right? Yes. So I'm going to go to my, I know, isn't this cool? <laughs> Here's mine. Ooh. So if we go to settings, you see here, there's a couple of really cool things I want you guys to see. First, you can right from here import contacts. So you can import your list. You don't have to upload these people. So when we have them in a spreadsheet, we can import them into a group. Import a group. 
and you can import the whole screen. So I can bring them up as a PDF. Or so however I have them in here, you see that? So when I have them, I can import them all in into a group. Isn't that cool? Everybody cool with that? Mm -hmm. The other thing that you could do, so that way, once you have them, and then the other part that she was saying is automatic. And that was under, uh, what was that under, Lisa? Go down. Go down. Yeah, it's fully automatic sending right in the middle oh, of your here. screen. Fully automatic sending, see that? So reach needs to open shortcut apps and check to see if the reach send shortcut app is installed, which it's not. Mm -hmm. So I have to go and add the shortcut. So they're gonna go ahead and go into my app store and then I'm gonna have to add that shortcut. And there it is. Okay. So now I can, it's, uh, what is it, 4.99 or 5.99? It comes to 50 bucks for the year, it's so cheap. Yeah. And now I can go back and then I can say test and then fully enable, full automation is enabled. Woo! So that means instead of me hitting send, 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 it'll do that for me. The one thing I did notice is that it does separate if there's a link and I don't know if it does that normally, but it will separate the link. It won't be all in the same text. That may just be the way the tool works, but. Well, let's look at one of my messages. Well, we'll see, we're gonna send one from here once we've created one. But this is how it works. Um, let's see, did I send this one? Yeah, so let's say uh, you might be interested in, okay, I'm gonna send this one to, I'm gonna pick, Let's see, who do I have on this call? I have, mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick. So I can, this is the beauty of not doing automatic. So obviously you see, I picked all guides here. I picked guides because that was for Father's Day. Do I have any other Southeast Orlando? I think we have Tatiani on here. Where's my Tatiani? Tatiani Aponte and Gladys is not out of this office. And I'm gonna hit send. So see, allow. How did it send it all? Ooh, so it did the shortcut. Let's see. Now that's how I did it without me having to hit, hit, hit. So let's see if it went that way. So if I look through my messages, Sherry got it. And so, and then Sherry got the page Ooh, with a little book that says elevating you. No, I didn't send it to that. I, I'll send it next. Hold on. Excuse me, miss. I did not. <laughs> let me send it to the rest of the people. I got some left out people here. So hold on. Let me go back into my reach. Then I go back to my message, right? And I'm going to send this to another group. And so then I'm going to pick my Southwest. And I'm gonna send it to my Southwest. Who do I have on my group here right now? I have, let's see. Mm, who's in my group right now? I don't see her on here yet, Angie. Who else is in here? Okay, Lisa, she's more towards the end. Well done, because she, Lisa Rudikowski, there you are. Oh, Dawn, you're not even in my group. Not so yet, huh? Hold on, now if I wanted to add to my group so I can do this, I could go to groups, oops. I could go to groups and I could say add to groups, oops, cancel. I could go into my groups, Southwest, and I could say add and I could look for you, Dawn. And I could say add and I'm gonna add into my group. So Carrie, is that from an Excel spreadsheet that was from Remind? I know these this, are like this. I just this is my phone, but I could have added them from an Excel spreadsheet. Yes. Okay. And, and then Sonia, I'm just going to add you right now into here, just so you're in a group, Sonia. And I'm going to add you into that group. Okay. And I have to probably add Gladys too into a group because I don't think I have her in a group. Gladys, Zara, 
add. Okay, done. So now I'm gonna go back to my message. I'm gonna say this one, I'm gonna say send. I'm gonna go back to, not that group, I'm gonna go to this group. And I'm gonna make sure who am I sending it to, Angie. And I'm gonna send it to Lisa, Dawn, Sonia, and Goddess, right? I'm gonna hit send. And I'm gonna hit start over. And look, it's on auto. I'm loving this auto thing. Like this is making my life easy. I used to have to hit, hit, hit. Now this is loving, loving life a little. Mm. Carrie, can you go back to the the send, like to the people that little that little symbol? It, it inserts their name, right? Yeah, that's the at. So when you okay. want to create a message, see at name, relationship. You can add a picture. Mm -hmm. Right. So when it comes through, it says, hey, sh hi, Sherry, thought you might be interested. The Sherry thought is all one word. So do we need oh, that to means that I didn't put a space. That's my. OK, my so bad. we just have to put a space after that at sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. And then you see how I this, it just put that page and then this see how in this particular it's just, just a page off my website. You see it has videos on here, it has the capture on here. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. this, this little flip book could be your cool. neighborhood report you see what i'm saying this is the digital farming piece now you could just send this book if we wanted being a digital piece but that's just or if you wanted we could send a whole website which would you guys prefer a web page what do you think <laughs> Nobody has a preference. I'd love to see the whole book. Just the book and not the web page as well. This is the book, right? Right. Part of the whole page. Because on this page, you can also see my little video. Okay. <laughs> The world's most extraordinary properties deserve the world's most extraordinary marketing. Right? It depends what you're sending. Yeah, got it. I just threw this in. This is something I threw together. So we could create a neighborhood report that has the property report and could have a little video underneath it or not, right? It depends on what you want to create that what you want to send could just have a link on it. How much is your homework? That's what we are creating. Do we want it to go to a web page? And we, we want it to go to a web page. What do you want to have on your web page is the question. Or it could just be the flip book that you send. I like it on the web page because we could add lead capture. See, someone could put their name in here, say they want more. I could say, you know, so this is, this is about marketing programs and whatever. And they put more information in here. This is an old page. I just threw it on here. Is it something quick to send? as you can see, but um, you know, we can make this whatever you wanna make it. But this looks pretty, pretty cool to have texted to your phone. Would you not agree? Absolutely. So. And, I, and they're sending this to the farming area. They're sending this to the farming area that you've uploaded to your reach group. So in your reach group, right? Where I have in these groups, uh, I have my groups being my offices, you're going to put community names, right? Like it? Oops, mm -hmm. I'm letting people miss. Oh, shoot. And I said no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. Participant. The middle. I don't know. It looks very tiny today. Is that me or is it that it looks very tiny today? Okay, I'm adding them. One of them is you. <laughs> so, okay. So good. Oops, no, down, close, close. Okay, so any questions about how reach works? We all pretty clear on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy, I, I have to watch tutorials on everything. I'm, I mean, I'm, you know, I, I can, I'm downloading it right now. Right. Um, because I, I sent you a message. Like, I'm like very serious about doing all of this yep. and I really want to, but I have to make it intentional. <laughs> I didn't see your message, but 
did you message me in here? I don't know. I haven't seen the message yet. But the point is, you're getting the concept. This is why well, I remind. What? I know. Give me the, the blue shows up, it won't go to cart. So then a week goes by, and I, you know, we, I, I, I didn't want to miss today's call. But listen, the cool <laughs> thing here, guys, is we're getting the overview of how you do it. If you need help, myself, maybe Sonia. She's saying, yeah, so that would be great. You can meet with us and we could help you do it. That is the idea, right? You understand the concept. You get what you want to do. You pick your community. You figure out what you want to say, what you want your web page to look like. And then you go, how the heck did Carrie do that, right? I know that happens. <laughs> it's okay. That's why you have me. That's why you have Sonia. And you sit with us and we create it for you and we help you execute. I don't ever expect that you watch my training and you go, bing, bang, bada, boom, you did it. I mean, it'd be great. Yes, Sonia? We could pick a day, like next Wednesday, mm. Monday, and just have a group session where we all get together and try it together. And then that way, all the brains together can make it happen. Sonia, great idea. She says next Wednesday's group session where we Monday. each, next Monday is a group session where we're, oh no, next Monday's not. It's 4th of July, no group session. <laughs> Follow Monday is group session where we will help everybody create their web page. I think that's a great idea. Create their thing. So that will be a workshop. Next Monday is a workshop. So those of you who can come in person, we will workshop this. And we will have one live going for those of you who cannot come. So you'll have to wait your turn. But those of you who can be here, will have us hands-on workshopping. So I will be on the Zoom helping somebody one at a time with your workshop. But those of you, who, and it can't be very long because if we have other people waiting, we'll do the most I can. Uh, those of you who can be in the room will be having us hands-on helping you workshop. So if you can be here, not next week because no one's going to be here, but the following Monday, it will be a digital farming workshop. Got it? Harry, what date would that be? I, I just need to make sure that I'm in town That's then. A great question. What date is that? Hmm. That nine. date is going to be dun, dun, dun. 11th. The 11th. July 11th. Be here, be square. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Everybody good with that? Sounds good, doesn't it? At 10 a.m., same time. 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. same, same time. Okay, so I'm going to stop my share if I can figure out how to do that on my phone. Uh -oh. I do that on my phone. Stop. Sure. That was super cool, wasn't it? Let me get out. All right. And now I'm out. And then I'm admitting Don Giacchetti. Yay. Here comes Don Giacchetti. So that, so when she comes on, she'll see. But that was great. So everybody understand um, July 11th, we will workshop how to do that. So if you're having trouble with your reach, if you're having trouble with your remind, if you're having trouble, but now we understand how we can do the reach, how we can do your contact upload, how we can create that web page. Now we're going to do a little bit more of that now so you can see it, but you saw how it looks and, oh, maybe I'll text that one to Dawn too. Let's send one of those things to Dawn, shall we? Mm -hmm. oh. Dawn, I'm going to send one of these to you so you see what we were doing. So you see what we're kind of sending. All right. I wonder if I said spell your name right. And we're sending it through reach. Not this page, but this is just an example of something we could do. Oops, that's Don Deegan. You already got yours. Deegan already got hers. Anybody have a thought? Uh, I'm going to use a community. Um, <clears throat> anybody want me to show their community? Because we're going to create a neighborhood report right now. Nobody? Nobody? Oops. Stacy, did you just Stacey put one in? She put I, one in. Do you see me? I see you. You just put something in. Let's see what you said. Can I drive on Thursday and I'll do one? Oh, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Now, do you want to ask? Okay. Yes, you can. All right. So no, let's go okay. to my no. home. 
I have trouble with, I'm having trouble with, re, with re, my, Remind or whatever, but you can use so, someone else's. Um, I just, I could, I saw the blue dots come up and I hit it to cart and it never, it never would go there. Okay, well, let's take a quick peek at Remind then. Just a quick little look. I mean, it's Remind. probably a user problem. Like I have, you know, but I mean, I thought I, went back I with, pinned my tool. I said I pinned it, but I freaking hate Stellar these days. So Stellar is not my friend. So let's see what we got. Remind. Oh, I did pin it. There it is. Okay. So let's open one. Stace will look at your community. Okay. Is that person not getting to get in? What's happening? Mm -hmm. Maria, what's happening? You get kicked out of the kitchen? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't like you. I don't know what to say. I'm here. I'm here. I'm okay. Yeah, you're here. That's a good thing. Mm. Okay. So um, we go into Remind slowly but surely. All right. It kicked me out. Oh my gosh. Seriously. So not surprised, you know, because Remind's on my list and Stellar's on my list today. <laughs> It continues. It continues. Oh. It is still on my list. <laughs> so surprising. Okay, let's see. Here we go. We are in. And then we hit search, right? And then the name of your community space is? Oh, Turning Hawk Development. I think I already did that one. I think it's in one of my cards, but let's see. Yeah. Turning Hawk. We type it in mm -hmm. and it's so delayed that it goes eventually. And then we go down to neighborhood, Turning Hawk mm -hmm. Ranch. Yep. Ocala. Click yep. On. We have to make sure that the entire thing is showing. Otherwise we don't mm -hmm. get all mm -hmm. of the homes. So I got to back I did. I did all of that came up okay let's see and i hit that. properties and not listings okay. and i could this not is get clearly it. wrong because i it's showing way too many homes okay hold on maybe it's gonna work now uh there's what ten thousand. that's wrong it's not very big i mean it, no, it's, it's showing community. how many is it showing Nineteen thousand. that's wrong that's wrong are you in florida turning hawk ocala i wasn't but it was wrong Okay, let's that looks that. right. Yeah. 117. Mm -hmm. Then what you do is you're going to hit select all. Okay. And then you hit, oh my God, it's so slow. The internet tries to make me slow for you guys. Does it help? <laughs> <laughs> The internet tries. Okay. And then I hit cart. And then it pops up. And you start typing in your community name, turning hawk. That's the problem, Carrie. It never gave me, it always did that white box, but it wouldn't let me, there was nothing ever in that white box. I got you have to, to this type it in. So you have to type it in. Turning Hawk, I really had it already. And then you say add 117 properties. You have to type in the name, whatever you want to call it, which you call it the community name, and then it adds it in. And then see, it says up here in the corner, success, 177 properties added. And then when you go over to your carts on the left-hand side, <laughs> which would be nice if it let me. Yep, carts. I'm gonna probably have double because I had turning honk in there, but I might've deleted them. So let's take a quick little peek and see. Mm -hmm. Turning honk. You know that I've been helping with Stacy because I had that in there already. I click on it and there they are. And I have 175, which is bizarre because it said it's 177, didn't it? I don't know, but here's all your properties. And then I click on it mm -hmm. next to notes and I hit export. 
and that's when you download them. Everybody good? Yeah, you click this little box next to notes okay. and that is select all. Mm -hmm. And then you export to what? Like you just hit export? You just hit export. I'm just gonna tell you, you have to pick the name of your file. And this is where, remember, it has to be the whole thing. You cannot have a space. So turning underscore hawk. And this is where you pick your columns. So because this is for your phone, uh, you know, you want the owner information, you may not care about the estimated value, you definitely don't care about the cell score, the gross square footage, the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the square footage. Um, I want the subdivision, I don't care about the year built, I do want the equity, I don't mean I care about the list price, but I do want to know the sales price. Uh, and the mailing address, I don't care, right, because I'm not going to send anything. And then I'm not going to make that my default setting because uh, the ones I had were my default setting for my equity letters, right? And then I'm going to hit export. And then, Stace, what I'm going to do is email this to you so you don't have to do it. <laughs> well, I'm going to I'm I'm going to do like eight different equestrian right. communities that I'm very I'm very comfortable with, you know. And right. So this will be one of like eight that I do. Right. So I'm watching like a hawk. <laughs> Just like turning. Okay, there you go. And you'll see it come up here, download ready. And then also by alert down here, it'll come one when it's done. And one thing we did in our class last week is I showed you when you get the phone numbers, you have all these phone numbers mixed in one column, separated by commas. And so I show you how to take that and spread it out into different columns because you want that when you're going to upload it into reach as multiple phone numbers, right? Now, I'm not gonna tell you to text the same person three times because that's bizarre, <laughs> bless you. And I'm gonna tell you that if it's a do not call, that's probably your best number to text to. Because remember the do not call registry is not affected by do not text. Really? Well, cause it's do not call. It's not do not text. Is that where I get so many texts? Of course, but they do, you do have to give them an opportunity to opt out. So you can say reply stop or something to, you know, to opt out. So that's all you have to do. You have to make sure you give them an opt out. As long as you're giving them an opt out, you're complying with the do not text. You see how you get the download here? Is that app, um, if, if you put in the, if yeah. will it automatically stop for you or do you have to go in and manually take that person out? That's a great question. I mean, none of my people have opted out. <laughs> um, I don't know that. That's a good question. I bet it's probably in there somewhere. Probably. It. it probably is. It's probably a good question. I just never looked at it that way because I've used it for a different purpose, but it may possibly very well be in there. Yeah. Because these types of apps want to comply with all the rules and regulations. Yeah. So it probably is in there. But that's the do not text ruling that you just have to give people the opportunity to opt out. Now, how many times are you getting things that you don't even have that chance to opt out, right? But we are going to follow that rule, okay? Because we don't wanna be texting somebody who doesn't wanna be texted either. But if you have three phone numbers, what do you do? You get that one off and you text the next one. <laughs> Carrie, is that opt out an option in the system in it reach? It doesn't it have it there because you create the set the message completely. It's blank. Okay. So, so you have to add it yourself. Add around. Okay. Yeah. And that's why I don't know if it automatically would take them out because, but it may be there as an option. I don't know. I really haven't played with that part of the system enough to say, you know, um, you know, is there like a automatic something? I don't know. Okay. Can't speak to that. Sorry, guys. No. Okay. So that's how you do that part. Everybody good? So we're going to close out our mind because it's going to slow my system down. Now we're going to go and state Turning Hawk is tiny. So I'm just not going to use that one as my example, but I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to my neighborhood report. Everybody sees that I'm in my hub. I'm going to click on neighborhood report because this is the best one, I think. And I used a big community on Thursday. What was the community I used? It's a good one. Oh, did I use Lawyer Park? 
So I created the Loria Park report on Thursday. We could take a peek at it and then we could go back and create one. But this is what the Laureate Park report looks like. Now, you guys see these little for your happy place. Anybody wants these kind of banners? I want to show you. Anybody on the call not know where these banners come from? Sonia does not know. Anybody else? Uh, I'm going to show you something. To change these banners is very simple to do. The, um, first of all, what you can do is you can go into your profile. And in the profile, profile, let me move this other way. If you go down to reports, the reports tab, you see they have, you can say browse, they have all these images that they've created for us. These are the ones that the team created for us, these first one, two, three, and then I've uploaded other ones. The team created, I uploaded these. So these are the ones that I've created for your happy place, for your piece of paradise, for your country paradise. Let's see what's happening in Eagle Creek, for your piece of paradise, for your happy place. If anybody wants any of these, I'll be happy to share them. Um, I took them. I made the design ball. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. What well, I was going to ask that same question. How? What did you? What was the tool that you used to create those? Design vault. Design vault. Through access. Yeah. But does anybody want them? I can send them to you right now. Yeah. Who wants them? Well, we, we can get in though and see them, right? Yeah. You're just saying. I'll put them in right now. Hold on. Oh. Let me show you real quick. Let's see what we have. I know so, um, Emily wants them. I see a hand raised there. Oh, this is so tiny. <clears throat> look over here to see what's on my computer. Okay, here you go. Here is for your happy place. Hello. Open. My gosh, it's so slow. What's happening? Why is that not opening? Did it open from there? No. Open. That's really weird. Why is this not opening? It's bad, isn't it? A piece of paradise. Oh, it's not opening. No. Let's see. Let me just add them on here and then we'll look at them. Documents. And it's so tiny in my computer, worse than normal, or my eyes are worse than normal. Hard to tell. That's okay. It's not just me. <laughs> It's a lot of good ones for sure. For your happy place. Mm -hmm. I'll add a couple of them. Documents. Social media. For your piece of paradise. You guys see that one? Okay, there's some of the cute ones too that are a little old in the messaging. So marketing might not like it, but Sonia doesn't care. So <laughs> we're just gonna say yes. Uh, there's for those looking forward, that's a cute one. Open. Yeah. For your country paradise. Mm -hmm. Wow. Are there any golf ones, Carrie? Next adventure. Oh, probably. Let's see. I made a bunch of them up for golf. 
Oh, I like these. These are like timeless. We have water from. Anyone like live waterfront or live timeless? Yes. I didn't make those. Those were actually marketing. I can't take the live ones. Those are those aren't me. But I like them. Okay. All right. Those are ones I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so I'm gonna put Dawn. Again, I'm gonna put Dawn ready just in case she wants them. I'm gonna put Lisa Lutowski. Thank you. Yeah, Lisa. I'm gonna put Emily. Um, I'm gonna put Sonia. Sonia, are you gonna give them away to other people? Okay, good. <laughs> Angie, you want them? Angie. Okay, uh, Victoria wants some. Victoria. Thanks, Gary. Yes, of course. Gladys wants some. Thank you. Zara. All right, Liliani wants some. Liliani. Oh my God, I cannot see am I? No, that's not right. Ah, come back, Liliani. No, what the hell? Go back. Yeah. 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 Zara, Liliani, Liliani, I'm sorry, your name wrong. Liliani. Who did I cut off? Victoria, Royal, Zara. Ah, gosh, you find me. Oh, gosh, that's terrible. All right, did I get everybody else? Anybody else wanted it? Oh, yes, Stacy Rollins. Okay, did I get everybody, I think? If I didn't get you, please say so, because I can't see everybody. Uh, did I get Emily on there? Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm just going to send that. Okay, we're good. So what you do is missing subject. We don't care. Okay, good. And there you go. When you're gonna get that, you're gonna go into your profile and then you can say new cover. And then you can go ahead and attach the cover that you want. You pick it, whichever cover that you liked. And then you go ahead and upload it, you name it, and then you attach it and you hit save and close. And then yeah, continue, you can choose them as you go. So you can see I have happy place, piece of marketing, happy place, top brokers, whatever one you want to have in there. And you can change them for each report. Everybody good with that? Excellent. And if you're not, that's a problem. So this is how, let's take a quick little peek here because we're kind of running low, get 20 minutes. All right. So here's for your happy place. Now, another thing, when you're creating this, this uh, neighborhood trend report, you wanna make sure you create a contact that says neighbor and use your own contact information because you don't want this to have a person's name on it. You want to say neighbor. Does that make sense? I'm just gonna say something nice. Now, when you create this report, we're gonna look at this. It's either for seller or buyer. We always want sellers. The whole idea of digital farming is for sellers. So you're gonna pick the seller report. And we're going to look at what this is going to do because we're going to use the PDF. So to do this, it says convert to PDF. That's what we're going to select. 
But this information gives us the trend of the for sale, the sold, whatever we're going to select. And then it gives us the kind of what's happening in the pricing, the properties on market, the days on market, and the market summary for the for sale, the sold, and then a sample of the actual local data, which is pretty cool. That's a nice report. Would you guys not agree? I like that report. Absolutely. So this one is for Loria Park. So let's take a quick little thing of how I pulled that kind of report. Everybody want to see that? There's a couple ways to do that. So if I say new report, I can just go in here. Let's say I'm going to do um, Kings, Kings Point. Is there an E on the end of Kings Point? I think there is, right? So if I go in here and I say edit, this is the MLS, okay? I'm in the MLS. So I can either do by search criteria here. I can do active if I want active. Uh, sold, I can go 30 days back or further days back. I can pick uh, closed prices if I'm only trying to get, if it's a really large community and I only want to get the high end. I only want to show things because maybe it's a very mixed community and I only want to show the high end in this community or the low end. Or why would we do that? Whatever I wanted to show. Um, canceled, expired, temporarily off market, withdrawn. I don't want to show any of that, but if I wanted to, I could. You could go again, if I only wanted to show list prices here, property type, I'm going to say residential. Um, if I only wanted to show condos or townhomes, I could do that here. I'm not going to. And then this is where I'm going to put, you could pick by the subdivision. So you start typing it, Kings Point. And what you're gonna see, well, you know what I need to put in is the zip code. So let's put in the zip code. Let's get rid of that. Put in the zip code, it makes it easier. It's gonna select that zip code. God, it's terrible to see this. And let's put in Keen's point. Keen's point. Keen's. Why is it not even coming in, Keen's point? Ah. Now look how many there are, a ton. So I either have to select each one of these, like, right, I can go and select each one because you know we don't know how people put these things in the MLS, right? So that's the problem. You either have to select each one that they have here to make sure that we're getting them all, or I could have gone and gone to the map. And if you wanted to do a map search, you could draw the whole thing. Is that clear for everybody? In Keene's point, you might have wanted to do that. Does everybody make sense? Yeah. And that that would be getting everything. Uh huh. Excuse me. Is maybe there a way to select all just by using a control? If only that would have been so great. <laughs> yes, John, that would have been so nice. No. I would um, have loved that. No, nope. <laughs> got it. And you know, the other thing is, is sometimes in some of these communities, like you, you can only go one at a time too. It's painful. And if you don't select them all, you might have missed one of the big ones where the, that's how the agents put it in because these agents put them in in a variety of different ways. Where this is really difficult is like in the Golf and Country Club, it comes in really messy. So in some of these communities, you might have been better off just hitting map search. Mm -hmm. And then putting in some basic information up here, right? Where you would say, again, if you want active, sold, I don't like the canceled or any of that, I would put in the zip code again, 34786, right? Select it. It has to come up and select it. And then you want to make this small because you want to get this out of the way so you can get in here. And now, you can go ahead, zoom in and actually draw your map, right? So you can go ahead and select up here how you wanna go ahead and start drawing all of your entrances and you see what I'm saying? To draw the whole Keen's point, follow me? Now for the sake of time, I'm not gonna do that because I don't have a mouse and it really drives me crazy when I try to do this on my Apple. <laughs> Without a map, without a mouse. So I'm going to recommend if you want to do that, do that with a mouse. Okay. But for 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 say time sake of time, because we're at 10:45, you all understand how to create that neighborhood, right? 
you can either select the subdivision name, you can draw the map. Again, I highly recommend doing it with the mouse. It will save yourself time and hassle and the frustration. So for the point of showing you how to create this book though, what I wanna do is I wanna first go in here and I wanna go back to the front page and we have to open up access, right? Because that's where we create our presentation suite. So access is moved to the bottom. So let's open access. I hope all of you have gotten presentation suite working. If you haven't, reach out to Sonia. She'll make sure it goes because you have to sign that woohoo form and then you have to go ahead. They're gonna send you an email from Flipsnack, which makes no sense. And you have to go ahead and uh, either authorize it or some kind of reply to this email from Flipsnack. And then once that happens, you should be set. So if that hasn't happened, you may not be set up yet. So once you're set up, you wanna create this as a favorite. And so by doing that, that just simply means you're starring this. So see how I started this? If you're over here and you're like, I don't see this under my apps and tools on the front page of my access, right? Here's access. That means that there's two ways you can do it. First, you wanna show the brand. If you show the brand here, then it will show all of them, which is very overwhelming, if you ask me. Uh, and you just have to hit down here, view all. And then it will show all of them. And then you come down and you scroll down and you make sure you see presentation suite and you star it. Once it's starred, it'll now be a favorite and then you can just see your favorites. Again, the ones I suggest favoriting that will always be available to you are list sync. That is the tool we use to buff up, buff, beef up your uh, pulse report. List track, that is the report that comes from the brand to tell them how our marketing is working. So that is the one you wanna initiate for your sellers. Design vault, that is where I created those beautiful little things that I like to put in my banners. Presentation suite we're going into now. You don't need eye prospect because you don't need to recruit. So that's all. <laughs> So there you go. So we're going into presentation suite or not. <laughs> we're trying to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what I want you to see is once you have a book already created, all you can add to the book I mean, you could add videos, right? You could add cool features, but you cannot add PDFs. However, you can create a book from PDFs because you see here, upload PDF. And you could create a book from multiple PDFs if you so cho chose, but only at the time of inception when you're first creating that book, okay? Everybody with me? So we go back into the hub, back into our neighborhood trend report, back into our beautiful Loria Park book, we hit on preview. And as I alluded to in the very beginning of looking at that book, all we need to do once it opens is click on that little button that says convert to PDF. So once it actually opens, which could take a while. How's everyone doing? Okay. <laughs> so you see here, convert to PDF. It looks like it's flat buttons, but they're really not. You click on that and it actually puts it in the PDF. You'll open it in another window, which just looks like, you know, how is this a PDF? It's in the URL, but it actually is. Then we'll wait another, you know, five minutes or so for token. Have a couple sips of coffee while we're waiting, you know. I'm happy. Everyone knows my beautiful oh, Sotheby's I Yeti. Mm -hmm. I do have such a pretty Yeti, don't I? My oh, Sotheby's yeah. Yeti. That was sent to me from another Sotheby. Okay. Oh, we're here. We've arrived. I mean, kind of. <laughs> Woo! Okay. So um, I'm going to show you something cool because I can. 
let's say we like that, but we also wanted to show something neat from the quarterly report. So we go into, back over here to our main page, and we go to uh, market reports. And I must have picked Gloria. People create. So I'm going to say new. And I'm going to say report name Laureate Park, L O U R E S E Park. Contact neighbor, of course. And C H B O R. Ah. Better if I spell it right. Neighbor. And the market address browse. Uh, this is by zip code, and I'm going to browse for, can I browse, where can I browse, Let me, three, two, or can I browse for, search, three, two, eight, two, seven. Hello. Okay, and I'm going to say single family. I guess I can say all because Lawyer Park does kind of have everything. So I'll say, okay. And display title. That's happening in Laureate Park. Happy you didn't know, no, no. And then I'm going to say preview. Okay, but I like this particular thing. I might not like anything else about this report because there's a lot of data, right? We already have some good data, but does anybody agree with me that this little dialy thing is pretty darn cool? I might say, I want this in my book too, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna convert this report to PDF. Everybody with me? And while I'm waiting for that little beauty, I'm gonna save this onto my desktop. As Laureate one. And then I'm gonna save this one if it opens. Oh, it opened. I'll save as Laureate two. Okay, now why did I do that? Because I want to show you how cool this is. Once we're in presentation suite, I'm going to say upload PDF. I'm going to upload both PDFs. So when I say upload file, I'm going to pick on my desktop both PDFs. So up Laureate 1 and Laureate 2. Open. So if I had five PDFs, I could upload as many PDFs as I want here. It doesn't matter. But once that's done and I've created this book, my PDF uploading days are over. Everything after that has to be JPEG. And to, to convert PDF to JPEG is a process. It's a pain in the neck. So now I hit next. Okay, so now I've created this book, which is two basic reports, it's the neighborhood report and the market report, right? So we have the first neighborhood report. And then it starts the market report, which is new, but a pillar of too much information. So we don't want that. So see this button on the bottom says editor. Now I can, edit this, change it any way I want. But really, am I creating anything? No, I'm just taking this and splicing it and changing it and cutting it up and moving it around. So I don't know about you guys, but I like the happy place one better. I, I like that, who likes this one better or who likes this one better? I vote happy place, anybody with me? Okay, everyone else is muted, so it's me and Sonia. We're going happy place. So you don't need two of these. 
So I'm on this thing right here. I can simply just hit this and hit delete page. Delete it. Bye-bye, that page is gone. See, it's that simple to delete pages. I can now take this page I want right here and I might say this page would be really cool if I wanted to move this page right after here. Maybe I'm gonna put it right there, right? Before all this other data. I wanna put it right next to here, next to the stats. Or maybe I wanna put it right after the trend page, right? So you could just simply drag this page, this one, and move it. You drag and move the page anywhere you want it. I mean, when it's so delayed, it's gonna take a little time because it's taking me forever to drag this page up. Oops, move it up. There we go, one more, come on, one more. One more, baby, come on. See, cool. So now I have the happy page and that's kind of cool. And then it goes into that, see? Pretty neat. Anybody like that? Nice. So if I liked any pieces, let's say I don't like the end of this piece, but let's say I liked, well, that's exactly the same. So we certainly don't need this thing. So we're gonna delete that, right? So any pages you don't like, you can delete. You see what I'm saying? Any pages you like, you can keep. Did I, didn't I delete this page? I thought I deleted that page. Delete. No, you can't get them back. Once they're gone, they are gone. And I am good that they're gone because I did not need that page. Right, that page was redundant. So you see what I'm saying? You can make this as cool as you want to with the data we already have, which is really nice. If I liked one of these and I wanted to add one, I could. If I don't, I could delete groups of pages at the same time. I could highlight groups of pages and delete them if you wanted to, or just delete one at a time. It really doesn't matter. You can move them around, right? If at the end of the page over here, I want to add my bio. Let's say I wanted to say over here, I want to insert a page. Then I just hit plus. And now I have a blank page. But I wanted it to be, let's say my blank page was in the wrong spot. I want it right there. And now I want to add my bio. So I go to uploads, right? And this is where I would throw a cool little bio. Do I have one of myself? Carrie, are you in there? I have Emily. I have, I have all sorts of people here. Teresa's bio. Does everybody know where you could get your own bio? No. Yes. <laughs> Maybe so. Okay, I'm going to tell you where you can go to get your bio. You don't know. From your profile? No, that's one place, but it wouldn't look really pretty. You would go here to Insight. But good guess, Dawn. I like that. When you go to insights, you search bio and all the associate bios that we have created for you guys are here. That's why you want the company to create your bio because oh, nice. they all live here. Let's see, Dawn, did yours get done? No, you know, I've written mine. I just have not known where to send it. Sonia, you send it to Sonia. Don Jacetti's is beautiful. So we're going to download Don's because hers is lovely. We're going to save it as Don Jacetti bio. Uh huh. Thank you. So you just let Sonia know, she'll send you the link and she'll update it with you. And that way we can change it and make sure it gets updated everywhere it needs to. Okay. So, and I, okay. Just reach out to Sonia, she'll get you hooked up in all the right Better. places. Thank so you. here, I'm gonna go to upload media. And I'm gonna go to Dawn. Was that Dawn? I don't know what I just uploaded. I couldn't see, it was so tiny. 
upload media. I don't think it was done. Let me go to downloads. Uh, where's Dawn? That's weird, right? That's unusual. That's not. Oh, I can't. You see what happened? Oh, perfect example. I cannot upload Dawn. Why can't I upload her? Does anybody know why? Doesn't matter. What is Dawn? PDF. She's a PDF. I can't upload her. What do I have to do? If Dawn is a PDF, I have to open her with uh, show in folder. If you have a Mac, the easiest thing to do is this. Open with preview. Preview. If you have a Mac, if you don't have a, what the hell? That's not, that's Dawn. Open with preview. Where's it? Oh, there it is. Okay. And then in preview, you can file, export. Where is export? Export. And when I export, I can save her as a PDF. JPEG. And then I'm going to put her on my desktop. Save. And now I see how that is. She was ghosted. See how that it's a pain in the neck with PDFs. That is the one thing that bugs me about this system. But now I can upload the media and now she will exist because now on my desktop will be Don Giacchetti. So hopefully, right? Let's see, recents. Is she still being changed? There she is. Open. Now I have Dawn here. And once she's here, oh shoot, 11.02. I can go ahead and now move her right in here. Boop, boop, boop. Onto my, so it's that easy just to move you, but you have to be a PDF because if it's a JPEG, it won't work. See how cool that is? You like it? Now, down here. No, not that one. Uh, this one. I had created this. How much is my home worth? Right? We can put this into your book. We can actually put it right over there thing if we want to. Or we could put it in this other spot if we want to, wherever you want to put this. And if we put this here, you know what we can create on top of this? Nobody knows. So sad. A hyperlink that will go to your website. And on your website, you will have a page. There's my website of how much is your homework, right? We all have that. I used to create them, now the company's creating them, right? I think so. So on mine is sell your home, how much is your home worth? So you copy this, your hyperlink, go back over here. And we can add a hyperlink right over here. See the link? So we drag the hyperlink and we want to put the page. We can actually make the whole page a hyperlink, which I like, and then paste the URL. So that means if they touch that page, guess what's going to happen? They're going to automatically go to your website of how much your home is worth. So as they're flipping through the book, they click on this page which they will, right? Because it's the last page and it's automatically going to go to how much is your homework. Love that. Pretty cool, right? So these are all fun things that we can do in this book. And then we're going to take this book and embed it into your, either your website or send the book separately, whatever you want, to the list that you've created. Everybody like it? So <laughs> thank you, Sonia. 
Sonia likes it. Anybody okay. else like it? Okay. Yes. We're going to call this Laureate Park Neighborhood Report. Okay. Better if I spell report right. But report. And then once this is ready to go, I might just delete all these other pages just because. Again, we'd go to pages. And just out of simplicity, we could just delete them all. Maybe I don't want anything else. And I just say here, delete and get rid of them. Unless you found you wanted some of these pages, then don't delete them. I'm going to delete them just because I don't need them. Okay, and then once we have our book, we'll be ready to go. Two more pages, delete. And we might add a video in here. We could add, we, there's a lot of things we could add, but I'm just, I'm trying to go as simplistic as I can here. We could add testimonials. I made Dawn's about Loria Park, which is so funny because she would never even go over there. <laughs> <laughs> and I have me on it. Dawn, we're a team now. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> I don't know if she's on still or she jumped off, but so funny. But anyway, and then you can preview your book and see what it looks like. Preview. Still loading. I've killed it. Okay, let's see. All right, here's the front page. Let's see. For your happy place. See, doesn't that look nice? I really like that overview of the zip code. Then it talks all about just Lola Park. Then it shows a little sample of the local inventory. And then talks about Dawn. And then how much is your homework? And oh my God, I clicked on it. And where does it go? How much is your homework? Right? You guys like that? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, great. And then we would publish the book and then download it. And then we have what we could use. We can hit share now. It's going very slow, but we're at 1108. So I think I have to stop, unfortunately, but we're gonna hit publish. And then we'll have this ready for our workshop that we can do for when we're going to be working shopping everybody's community. So this is the type of thing we're going to be doing on the 11th. So everybody can add it to their website. So decide what you want to have in your book. Do you want to have anything else on your page? Do you just want to send a book? And um, what community are we doing? Did you upload it into reach? What part of this process do you need help with? Any questions from anybody? Are we good? Good. good. Thank you. This was great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. See you later. Thank you, Carrie. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.